here to swap it, put the Clockwork Razor offlane into the Nature's Prophet. Uh, that is unlucky. And by unlucky, I mean really well played by Boom. Unlucky that Jerry was not paying attention to bottom lane at the time. One more auto attack from Knight. You should get this. So two kills in the bottom lane here for the side of Boom. Very good. Meanwhile, top lane, we're seeing a fight break out as Arteezy is going to be the one that blinks in. They're looking for Pekaz, and he gets it. So he dies bottom. Uh, Slatums may have gotten baited as Arteezy's rotation on in. Dude, it keeps happening. Yo, Pot. Pakaz top lane. Fallen low, no stick, nothing left. They get another kill. It's just the supports for this one. Kitsrak barely survives. They manage to push Knight away. In comes Illich here on this Razor with the ult running. Able to do a decent chunk of damage. Will be able to find the trade here on the Saberlight. But Delacor as well as Kitsrak getting out. I mean, you're pretty happy about this on Shopify. You're forcing so many rotate. That's dead. Oh my gosh. Dude, they are just enough. He gets the Blade Fury away. So he's going to be fine. Top lane. Kitrak going for the dive away. Will not be able to do so. Slatums will chase down Saberlight here. The level 5 Mars not able to survive. A massive power boost. Uh, on this hero, hook shot in bottom. They've managed to get on top of Saberlight. I think you wanted to push him back, but you don't have the swap silenced up at the moment, thanks to the Orchid. But an Omni Slash coming through. It's not doing a ton, but it does manage to stick on top of RTZ. The Blade Fury from Bakaz. Will it finish him off? It does the swap out defensively, but Yopaj with this amplified damage just cleaning them up. The dive forward as well. Kitrak has an egg. If he wants to use it, he absolutely will. The sticky bomb is there. Yopaj gets the disarm as well. Triple kill for the Templar Assassin. Just destroying the side of Boom. Okay, we're gonna go for a Rolling Thunder here from Slade to the Fuse. It'll hold him down. Trying to chain stun him up. Nice Arena will come out to try and isolate Illich. Swapped back the other way. The fight, actually a disaster here for the side of Boom as the Orca comes out on the Pango. Panda gets speared in as well. And Thelacor just stomps down on top of both of them. Oh boy. He walked under a ward. Illich in some trouble. The blink reveal there from Yopaj. The first silence comes through, and then not even going to bother with the second one. They get the kill. Arteezy now with the Mage Slayer completed. One of the strongest carry items of the patch. Mid lane. They're looking for Illich. The silence does come out. Can he get the Rolling Thunder off? No! He can't! An unfortunate egg there from Kitrak, but absolutely worth it as they're looking for more. Yopaj gets isolated as he went to go for Panda. He just turns it around on tonight. Protected by the Glimmer Cape from now. Omni Slash comes through. Is it enough to find a kill? It gets tanked by Thelacor. Pekaz ends up on the high ground, walking through a flurry of mines and isolated by another Nature's Prophet TP. Five go down across the map. Shopify look rough spot. If they happen to find them, this would be huge. Up onto the high ground, Kitrak should be able to get the dive away. It goes right on top of one. The Omni Slash will finish off the techies, but because needs to get out of here. Oh boy, it's Saberlight. Gets the arena off, but it doesn't actually find the kill. The spear will do it though. A two for two, but I mean, that's a big win once again for Shopify. This word given a good info. Panda catches a sticky bomb and taken down by Thelacor. In comes Slatus with the silence. Oh no, Saberlight gets the arena off the egg right on the back side. Illich trying to bring it down in time. Pagaz comes in to join him. He finishes it off, but he's 1v2 against Yopaj and Arteezy Knight with a great glimmer cape. He's going to just dive in, throw his body at the way, which I don't know if he absolutely needed to do that. Uh, is just kind of felt like I got to do Wonders something. as well. Like, this is a hero Radiant that Oscar. is already super fast, and you can kind of get away with just sacking that 30 move speed. They're going to lose Panda bottom lane. Illich wanting to go in here, trying to stay on top of Velikor, but I don't know if he can. He's going to have to pop the BKB aggressively, and he's stuck inside the Sprout! He gets four staff for the moment. In comes Arteez. He gets on top of the clockwork, but Yopaj, does he finish off the Razor? He does not. The Craggy Code active will save him, but Knight on the side. Oh, he misses the hook shot. Wait, he just didn't see him. Wait, okay, now he sees him. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, 
as Yopage is also queued up sites. They just want these instant blink hex. Be able to find heroes like the Juggernaut. Instead, they're going to find the Panda on the backside for Kaz with the Blade Fury. Able to just try and make some space. He doesn't have a TP. The swap onto Arteezy. Trying to get him out, but Slatips is just trapped once again. But Kaz with the Omni Slash onto Saberlight, but so much of the damage is just not sticking. The Bulwark doing wonders, and there's the Spear. They trapped the Juggernaut. A beautifully placed egg as well. But Kaz goes down. Illich going to join him. A five hero wipe from the side of Shopify as they are just overwhelming the side of Boom. And they will take game number one in this elimination series. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Shopify Rebellion. Victory.